Today is Esther Day. If you don't know what Esther Day is, it is a day to celebrate love and family and friends and to tell the people that you love that you love them. Esther Earle was a nerd fighter, an invaluable supporter of the Harry Potter Alliance, and from what I've been told, one of the best friends, daughters, sisters anyone could ask for. Two years ago, just after her 16th birthday, Esther passed away from thyroid cancer. I did not have the pleasure of knowing Esther, and even though many of my friends were very close with her and I have felt her impact, I often feel it's not my place to say anything. However, Esther Day is something that I think is very beautiful and something that I really believe in. Esther Day was started two years ago on Esther's birthday, which is today, August 3rd. John Green of the Vlogbrothers wanted to be able to do something for Esther every year on her birthday. After thinking about it for a bit, Esther decided that she wanted him to talk about love and family. In doing so, John told Hank that he loves him, which is not something that any brothers, but particularly brothers who are communicating via video blog with hundreds of thousands of viewers, usually vocalized to each other. Recognizing that we all refrain from saying the actual words to the people in our lives who we care about, John challenged everyone to do the same. Not to say I love you to Hank, but, but you know, to, to anyone, to people in your lives who you have trouble saying it to. Unless Hank is someone in your life you have trouble saying I love you to, but I imagine that's not most of you. Valentine's Day is supposed to be a day about love, but it's romantic love and it's complicated. But Esther Day is about love for your family, for your friends, for the people in your life who mean the most to you, especially the ones that you have trouble saying it to. I have a big problem saying I love you to anyone. Um, in fact, just this morning, I got a text from a close friend of mine that in celebration of Esther Day said, I love you. And my immediate response was, what's wrong? What happened? What did I do? Because that is my response when I hear I love you. There must have been some disaster or something to make me feel guilty. And that was just a text message. Actually saying it is I can't even. My roommate and I have been best friends basically since we were 14, which is about eight years, and now we live together a thousand miles away from our hometown, so we really are each other's family here, and we truly care about and love each other. But because I have such a difficult time saying I love you, we've adapted our own way of communicating it. Whenever we want to say I love you, we just look at each other and say, Blah! Yep. Not even kidding, we do it all the time. Having a different way to say I love you with someone is kind of great and special in a whole other way. But sometimes it means even more to just break down your barriers and share a totally raw I love you. So I'm gonna do it. My roommate is not actually here right now because she's back home visiting family, but I'm gonna call her and it's gonna be awkward. Hello, I wanted to call to tell you um, that I love you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh I love you too, Lauren. Ah, okay, that wasn't so bad. That was It was just a little awkward. I did it so you can do it. I am very bad at this. You should do it because it will make people happy and let people know that you really do care about them and that you're thinking about them, which is just always a nice thought to know that somebody is thinking about you. But Esther Day is not just about going out of your comfort zone and saying I love you. It's also about celebrating the power of love in any way. Fellow HPA vlogger and one of Esther's best friends has been working on an Esther Day project. He asked people to send him pictures of themselves making hand hearts and he's having them printed on Moo cards, which are like small business cards, and he's going around to all of the bookstores and libraries in his area and putting them into random books, kind of nerdfighter notes style. So when random people find these books, they'll have a little card of love in it and hopefully it'll bring a smile to their day. Speaking of Julian, I want to say really quickly to Julian that the video you put up on Monday about why you can't go to LeakyCon is incredible and I am in awe of your bravery and your passion to make a difference in this world. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it now, sign the change.org petition. I have a bunch of links in the description box for other articles and stuff to do with that, as well as other videos and stuff about Esther Day. But more importantly today, spend some time celebrating love, family, friendship, and telling the people in your lives that you love them. Julian, I'll see you on Monday.